Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do as a hamstring curl on an exercise ball. But we're going to use the proper term supine hip extension leg curl. And that video is coming up right now. Right, now in order to do this exercise, you're going to need one of these, a nice big bouncy exercise ball. And we're obviously doing a lying hip extension on it. So we're going to be here. And you're going to get your feet right through the middle of the ball. So you see a lot of people, they kind of put their feet on here when they do it. But the problem is with that is when you extend, your feet are going to slip off. So you want to be right on the top of the ball. Imagine the ball's the earth. You want to be right on the polar cap. Okay. And then what I always say to people with this exercise is you want to get your hands down on the side beside you, but you want them to be at kind of this angle. So then you can really press into the floor as well as you do the exercise. You don't want to be like narrow. You don't, you also want to build that tension into the floor. You don't want to just let it chill as it were. Then what we're going to do, polar ice caps, start with your bum quite close to it, hands down, glued to the floor, and you're going to press into the floor as you do this. Then we're going to basically do a glute bridge. So we come up like so, and then we're going to roll the ball in to our hips, and then we're going to roll away. <sighs> like so. When I see a lot of people do this, and what they'll do is as they come in, they'll keep their bum low. Now the issue with that is you're not going to activate your hamstrings. We have to have the hips extended. And in order to have the hips extended, they need to be forward through here. So the glutes need to be engaged, the hips need to be extended, not contracted. If you contract the hips, you're not going to activate the hamstrings when you do this exercise, which is really what we need. It's a great exercise on the core as well, great exercise on the glutes, and great for stamina um, too. So remember, pull ice caps, arms glued to the floor, extend the hips, keep that extension in place as you curl up. And then as you come back, you're gonna control it with those hamstrings, the backs of the upper leg. Really control it, and you'll really feel those hamstrings working very well as you do it. Now the other biggest issue I have with this is clients just having the confidence and the balance with the ball. Remember, repetition is the mother of skill. The more you repeat trying to do it, the more you give it a go, the easier it will be. That's also where I get clients to really press into the floor because they'll stabilize their body, they'll stabilize their core by doing that, and by doing that they'll then create more balance. And that is an exercise ball hamstring curl or a shelk. Have a great day. Thanks for being here. See you again soon. Bye bye.